Hi, my name is Oran Horvat. In this video, I will show you what hash set and dictionary are doing in respect to calling get hash code and the equals methods on the objects we pass to them. If you like what you learned from this video, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to tick the bell to receive notifications. And if you really want to learn about programming, you can visit me at Pluralsight and Udemy and watch my video courses published there. For example, the course that has a lot in common with this video is my latest course at Pluralsight, Collections and Generics in C Sharp. Use the link from the description to get to that course and enjoy watching. So, straight to the point about storing objects in a hash set or a dictionary. Let's say that we have a class and it has some state, so that objects with the same state should be considered equal and, for example, if added to a hash set, then not added twice. So I might want to get a few objects of this class. You see that there is a repetition. Objects with content 1 and 2 are repeated. Then just put them into a hash set. This will not work as I expect. Because hash set cannot detect duplicates when a class is written this way. So here, the objects are repeating in the hash set. The reason is that I haven't implemented the equals method for one thing, so let's override the equals on this class. I want to print the result out so that we can see what is happening. So the two objects are equal if they are both of the same class and uh, they have the equal state. Let's print out what the equals will return. But you see, there is a compile time warning. The compiler is issuing a warning saying that we must also implement get hash code. So let's pretend to implement it. I don't want to really implement it yet. Instead, I will just call the base class implementation of get hash code. Do you know what base get hash code is uh, doing? The one implemented in the system.object? There, the hash code is generated for each object using a principle which is very similar to how the random class is working. And that value is remembered associated with the object. So every object will technically have a different hash code and taken from a very good distribution of random numbers. And, and that uh, hash code will remain stable through the lifetime of that object. So Bayes' implementation of get hash code is effectively satisfying all the requirements for that method. It is working very well, but very well for a reference-based comparison, not for value-based comparison, which we need. This hash code in the base will be generated on the first request to get hash code. That, as, as I said, will satisfy the rules of the get hash code and equals for the uh, reference-based equality test, and that's not what we need. That is substantially not what we need. So when we run, the repeated content will return different hash codes and note that equals was never invoked. Why? That's because hash set only invokes equals when it finds the same hash code. It is indexing objects inside the data structure based on their hash codes. So, when you add an object to a hash set, it will take the hash code, discover where to place the object in, inside the hash structure, and leave it there. When you try to add another object, it will take the hash code of that object and try to put it into the data structure and only call equals if it finds something with the same hash code there. Only then will it check whether two objects are equal. And since all the hash codes here are unique, there will be no collision in the hash set and equals will never be called. All right, so let's fix the problem by calculating the hash code 
from state. This should make repeated objects return the, the same hash code now. And then you will see that equals is called to the, on, on the duplicates, on those objects that have returned the same hash code. That is precisely what should happen in a hash set and that is how it works and here it works correctly on our class which is implementing both get hash code and equals methods overriding them of course dictionary dictionary works the same it's that way because the underlying structure is the hash table so everything you saw for the hash set in this demo it will work exactly the same when applied to the dictionary I will print the keys from the dictionary. So here, here you can see that the dictionary will contain only three keys, one, two, and three. There will be no duplicate keys there. It works the same as the hash set. This demonstration has revealed how hash set works. It uses hash code to determine the entry where to place the object or if you are searching where to look for it. And uh, the entry is just a list of objects with colliding hash codes. When a collision is detected, only then the equals method is invoked to see whether it is really a collision or whether those are really two equal objects or it was just uh, an unintended collision. Two different objects could easily return the same uh, hash code but the equals will reveal whether they are truly equal or not. That is the working principle between um, hash sets and dictionaries in .NET. Remember this when you implement your get hash code and equals methods. I hope you liked this demonstration. If you want to see more of videos like this, subscribe to my channel and watch my video courses at Pluralsight and Udemy. Thank you for watching and see you soon.